Large interactive whiteboards are widely used for editing large documents, such as diagrams or maps. Multiple users can either work close together, sharing the same region, or work individually. In both cases, the undo action should make sense to each user. But how? Global undo introduces a number of significant issues. If the left user triggers an undo action, the person on the right side would not be aware of what is happening. Personal undo can also be highly cumbersome. A personal undo would require a close collaboration of all group members to get back to a desired state. The solution for these issues is regional undo. It limits the spatial reach of undo to work areas of groups or individual users. Undo reacts with a personal undo for individual users. and with a group-based undo for collaborative work. But how can regional undo be implemented? The clustering technique groups close items into so-called clusters. The cluster that is closest to the triggering element, in this case a digital tool palette, is selected for undo and redo. All actions within a cluster can be undone or redone. Even if the actions were performed by different group members. In the workspace technique, each of the users occupies their own work area. The placement of each workspace is controlled by a digital tool palette and is visualized as a bar on top of the application. All actions within the current workspace can be undone or redone. In addition to the placement via digital tool palette, each user can adapt his workspace manually by using handles shown in the visualized bar. In the field of view technique, the undo region is based on the area that the user physically sees. The body position of each user is tracked by a Microsoft Connect. Depending on the position and distance, the field of view is estimated and used as an undo region. To support free movement of the users, a physical tool palette is used for triggering undo. This enables the user to step back to enlarge their field of view and still be able to trigger undo. All actions within the undo region can be undone or redone. Final evaluation revealed that the field of view technique is most preferred. 50% of the participants rated the field of view technique with the highest rating. Furthermore, post hoc analysis showed that the clustering technique produced a significantly higher error rate than all other techniques. <laughs>